2006. Today I'm going to be reviewing the uh, Airbus A321-200 Jet Blue by NG Models. Starting with the box, uh, on the front, the um, background is the uh, Jet Blue, uh, I think it's called Prism Livery, I could be wrong. The uh, navy blue, blue, light blue, and green. Um, the corner, Jet Blue, registration November 948, Julia Bravo. Um, generated, computer generated image of it on the front with a white outline. NG Models logo on the 400 scale collectible models. Uh, looks like there's an A missing there. I'm not sure if that was a printing error or when they typed up the box, when they designed the box, they forgot to put an A there. That's kind of weird. Um, on the side, Jet Blue, NG Models. On the back, it's pretty much the same as the front with the Airbus A321 logo on the top. Choking Hazard, ages 14 and up. Uh, Facebook and their Instagram. Let me just uh, flip this to the other side. Same as the other side. Bottom shows the Airbus A321 logo. Next Generation, Jet Blue. And the top is the same thing. So uh, let's open up the box. So um, just wanted to say I'm really happy to have pre-ordered this because um, as you probably know, for some reason there's a shortage of JetBlue A321s in 1 to 400 scale. Um, but Genji finally made it and I'm glad I pre-ordered it because I can guarantee that this is going to go really fast. It's a really popular model, pretty much every airport in the North America has them visit, so I'm really glad that I got that. But uh, anyway, like I said, let's open the box. Um, there's just a little damage on this side. Uh, that probably happened during shipping, not a big deal. Um, but like all Gemini Jets, this just slides out. Oh, uh, this is in the Gemini Jets and NG models. And then you grab this. This one came with this cardboard bottom, um, but that is how the model is shipped and then you just slide this off now i'm not sure what's up with the cardboard i'm not sure if that's ng models or the company that i bought this from the distributor but uh there take this little sheet off pull it out of the tray move this to the side and there is the uh JetBlue A321-200 Mint Livery by NG Models. So this is the uh, model. By the way, if you're wondering why I'm filming this uh, sideways, it's because my light is uh, kind of weird. It's a movable light, but for some reason it only works when I put it in this specific position. So to get the better lighting, I'm just filming it from the side. Um, but going into the review, um, Starting with the front, the uh, little, little um, pun on the front is Mikasa, S. Blue Casa. Uh, to be honest, I don't know what that means. Um, I think it's my home, my blue home, I think. Um, but looking at the uh, front, you can see uh, windshield wiper, moving back, the uh, door. Jet blue logo with the uh, forward cargo. Uh, the landing gear is made out of rubber and it does roll. And uh, moving back, there's an antenna on the top. Side door, and that is where the slide would come out, right underneath the door. Moving back further, the uh, to the wing, you can see the uh, flap actuators. There's the uh, JetBlue.com engines. The wing tips are just a solid blue, no printing on that. Um, the windows go all the way back. Um, and then two rear doors, cargo and luggage. Registration, as I said, November 948, Julia Bravo. And there's the tail, which I believe again is called the Prism livery in the uh, Sky blue, blue, navy blue, and green, mint green. Um, 
Now you can see the uh, Wi-Fi on top, but moving to the top of the aircraft. No, oh, there's a shadow. I'm gonna try my best to avoid that. Uh, moving to the top of the aircraft, the uh, there is nice detail of the uh, over the wings. Um, and moving back, the top of the elevators looks pretty detailed. Um, and there is detailing for the flaps, splats, spoilers, um, but it is pretty faint. You can't really see it. And especially, especially on the elevator, that detailing is pretty faint. You can't really see it, especially at this scale because it's so small in real life. Um, or in person. The shadow's getting annoying. Wait, hold on, let me... Hmm. I'll just review it like this. I don't know, I can't really avoid that shadow. Looking at it from the front, they got the uh, A321 windows down pretty good. Um, and then going to the back, here you can see the exhaust. If I can get this thing to focus. And it does look like there is actually, um, there's actually a little divot. They made a tiny, tiny hole right there for the uh, exhaust. And, um, you know, this is really, really small. That's a lot smaller than I expected it to be for the uh, A321. Flipping it upside down. Here, there is the uh, hole for the stand. Uh, NG Models does not put their logo anywhere on the aircraft. Um, Gemini Jets usually does that on the bottom, um, but this doesn't have it. Just adds some realism. Um, like I said, the landing gear is made of real rubber and it does roll. It's highly detailed. Um, and you can see, let me try to focus on that. Okay, I'm not gonna try to focus on that door. Actually, in real life, that door is so small, I don't even know what's on it. I'm going to just bring it off camera for a second. Just put this camera down. Let me try to get it. 948. Yeah, 948. That is what the uh, door says. The landing gear door. I'm moving down. Rear landing gear, also made of rubber, also spins. These are the... Uh, Try to get that in the light. These are the nice jet blue engine or the Airbus engines. Mm, I'll, I'll try to get some light into the air, but I think it's so dark you can't really see. Um, but from the front of the engines, there is nice uh, blade detail. Now I'm going to compare this next to uh, another. Actually, the only other JetBlue aircraft that I have, which is um, the only other A321 that they've made in the past couple of years. I'm not exactly sure specifically how long, um, but this is the Neo variant. And I didn't realize this until now, but... Well, yes, there's definitely a difference here. Um... And I keep on calling this ship blue Gemini Jets. I keep on forgetting that's not a Gemini Jets. I'm not sure if the size difference is this drastic in real life from the A321 to the A321 Neo. The A321 is very clearly sharper here in this shot. Um, I think that's just mold difference. That size is really surprising. I wouldn't think that there'd be that much of a difference. And I am really, truly seeing how huge the, those, uh, those Neo, Gemini Jets Neo engines are compared to, uh, normal engines. Um, but this is the uh, JetBlue Neo by, uh, Gemini Jets. Let me tilt this. I keep on trying to put these sideways because usually if I film them, but on my light again, it's having technical difficulties, so I have to put them to the side. Yeah, I'm going to assume that that's a mold difference, because I'm pretty sure the only difference in real life between the A321 and the A321 Neo is the engines the so and the software. There's no, like, cosmetic, no drastic cosmetic changes like this. Um, so we're just going to take this out of the shot. Um, and for scale reference, 
I am gonna s compare this next to an American Penny. So let me just slide that up here. As you can see, this is a really small model. Actually, it's not that much bigger than the smallest model that I own. If I just uh, prop my camera down for one second, you're just gonna have to look at my table. Um, but this is the smallest model that I own, smallest model plane. Um, yeah, that's really small, the ATR. Um, this does seem like a realistic scale though, A321 next to ATR uh, 42, um, but that is the smallest model I own, and uh, this penny definitely is a tiny, tiny model. Look at these engines next to that penny. Oh yeah, that's a lot smaller, smaller than it looks in person. Um, and rolling to the back, you can just see each part compared to a penny. Um, it does roll quite smoothly, which is nice, but um, starting to get uh, off topic in the tiny, tiny details that don't really matter. Um, but uh, let me just show it up next, or parked up to a gate, and um, and we'll end the video there. So this is how the aircraft looks at my uh, my domestic terminal, which currently is just made out of cardboard. I'm eventually planning to um, put some jet bridges in there. This is what it looks like next to the other JetBlue aircraft and Alaskan Airlines in the back. And uh, this, what I'm about to show you, is what it looks like at a jet bridge. And this is what the aircraft looks like at a, a jet bridge. Jet bridge is just a little bit taller than the door. Um, and so one thing, one last thing I want to do is take the Gemini Jets uh, GSC, ground service vehicles, and I just want to show you what or uh, how this aircraft looks next to all those uh, GSE. So the uh, final thing, this is what the uh, ooh, camera fell. Final thing, this is what the uh, NG models JetBlue A321 Neo looks like. I'm pretty sure I have called this a Gemini Jets multiple times. I don't mean that. This is an NG model, so I'm just forgetting. Um, but looking at it, this actually fits better with the GSC than most of my Gemini Jets aircraft do. The uh, catering truck is just the right height. It's the perfect height for the uh, cargo loader. Like, exact perfect height. Um, unfortunately, the uh, baggage loader is just short. Um, and the air stairs don't go down far enough to line up with the door correctly. The, um, the push bar is a little bit too short, so if I were to put it straight, the nose of the airplane would be touching the tug, the cab of the tug. The uh, fuel truck just barely fits under there. And uh, everything else is just like cosmetic. They don't actually go up to the airplane or anything, like the buses and the car or the uh, luggage cart. Um, but anyway, um, that is going, actually, I just saw one more, uh, generator truck, nothing really special about this, this would just park up to it. This is the correct size to fit right under the, uh, the nose of the aircraft. If I can just get this up there, yeah, it's about right what it would look like in real life. Um, but like I was saying, anyway, uh, this is, uh, this has been the, uh, NG Models JetBlue A321-200, and I've had a lot of pronunciation issues. I've called it a Neo, and I've also called it Gemini Jets, it's NG Models, um, but this has been the JetBlue, uh, A321 by NG Models.